So I thought I'd create a short video here on how I'm using Evernote as an assessment tool for my class. So a couple things you need to know. First off, I am teaching pre-service teachers, which I've done for many years now. That's the, that's the folks that I'm using this with. But the second thing you need to know is I'm also um, doing basically self-assessments. Uh, students are assessing themselves, and so it's very important that they document they're learning. Now this midterm assessment is uh, voluntary, uh, so not every student has chosen to do this, but I said if you want some feedback, specific feedback from me outside of, you know, regular blogging, or just sort of on your overall uh, course experience, what you're learning, what you'd like me to be able to do, what you're, you know, struggling with, whatever, send it to me. So uh, what I did is I set up an Evernote notebook called ECMP 35513 and assign some tags. And so if you see here on the bottom, that's the syntax that they use to email me their assessments. And I told them their assessments could be video, it could be audio, although in this case, they're all just using writing an email and sending it, which is fine. So in Evernote, I'll, they come to me in these little notes, uh, as you can see, and so I just simply click on them, and uh, then I can respond. And, um, and, and again, they're just easy to be able to search in Evernote. This could have been done in Google Docs, but there is one thing that I can't do in Google Docs that Evernote is m amazing for me to use. Specifically, I'm taking advantage of the audio tool. And so you can see here's the, oh, that's the trash. There's the audio tool. So rather than me typing out my response to them, which seems to take longer, I'm simply clicking the audio tool button and just talking. And I'm finding that a much better way of communicating my ideas much faster. I'm hoping more valuable to my students. Um, and it feels just more like a conversation, which uh, Joe Bauer says, assessment is not a spreadsheet, it's a conversation. That's exactly what I'm trying to have. So um, I'm, I'm just finding this method really, really um, easy, and I'm hoping more useful to my students as well. Um, if you want to know more about using Evernote as a, uh, as a tool uh, for assessment, I've learned everything I know about this from Russ Gerrand. Uh, I didn't spell that particularly well, but you get it. Uh, talk to Russ about that. Um, but if you have other questions that I might be able to help you with, if you think this might be a useful way for you to do assessments, I think it's pretty cool. And um, I, I love the idea that this is a conversation, not a one-way street. And if there's one thing we've got to do, we've got to get moving past the notion that assessment is a teacher's job. It's mostly a student's job. We just should be helping them with it. So I'm loving the way Evernote is um, facilitating that for me. Hope this is useful.